I'm Staff Sergeant Mark Horsley. In response to two knife point robberies of victims who were in wheelchairs, I went undercover. I deployed in a motorized wheelchair and I portrayed a paralyzed person who had a brain injury. And this is what I experienced. The community accepted me very quickly as being one of theirs. And I had an opportunity to hear the stories from different people and to really get to know people while I was down there. In this particular case, a young man visiting from Quebec asked for permission to pray for me. And his prayers were adamant for my healing. In this particular case, this young man picked up my camera. I thought he might take it. And then he looked down and he saw some money hanging out of a waste pouch. And he reached down and he zipped it up. He told me about his troubles, about him caring for his mother, who was also a wheelchair person. Here he is zipping up the waste pouch, saying, be careful, you don't want to lose your money. In all my interactions with people, I told them I couldn't count. And when we were exchanging food or different things, uh, they would take change from my hand. Not once did anybody shortchange me. In fact, at the end of the five deployments in this project, I was ahead by $24.75. Here's a case where a lady wanted uh, change for a $5 bill. Again, I told her I couldn't count, and she took the exact change out. Not one person shortchanged me. Not one person took advantage of my vulnerability. In this case, I'm talking to a young man late at night in a bar district, and he took 75 cents and just gave it to me. The generosity, the caring, was inspiring. In this project, I had an opportunity to experience Vancouver's downtown east side from a different perspective, that of a four foot seven vulnerable person in a wheelchair. The caring and compassion expressed to me in my undercover role was inspiring. This community has soul. Victimizing the vulnerable is far beneath the people of the downtown east side. For the very rare and despicable person who's willing to victimize vulnerable people, you should know the police are watching. But more importantly, the people of the downtown east side are watching. They care and they take care of their vulnerable people.